Hi, hi, Ali. Hi. Hi, how are you, brother? How, how are you doing today? Can you um, hear me? Yeah, I'm doing fine. N nice to have you back. It's nice to be back. Anything you want, you feel like sharing with me? Yeah, actually, it was a guy who, uh, uh, I know it, it doesn't have anything to do with this uh, subject, but uh, like uh, the last time I, uh, the, the, the last time I was in this uh, meeting as well, some guy texted me some racist stuff and now <laughs> there's another guy who's just spamming me with go kill yourself, monkey and all, all that. I, and right. I can, I can, I, I, it was so frustrating. Like I tried to ignore him. Right. So, yeah. Uh, uh, I, like I felt peace when I came to these meetings, but now I just like, j just because of that, like he judged me be, uh, because how, how I look, I, I didn't want my camera on. Like <laughs> if you can understand what I'm right. talking about. I, I do. I, my suggestion is number one, I'm sorry this has happened and there's, there's no excuse for this. You have to understand that there's the low vibration beings that they're very immature in their spiritual understanding, that they're really creating separation to color or religion or whatever and that's where they're at so yeah. i i have compassion for them for the way they are and of course they have long ways to go to awaken and what i would do when things like this happen i turn the poison to medicine so it gives me an opportunity because I also have a lot of lovers and haters. So, and that kind of comes with the job. When you sign up with this, with this and you put yourself out uh, in front of the public, some people are going to love you and some people are going to hate you. And I get all kinds of different messages. So what I've learned is that I use this, I turn the poison into medicine. Every time someone insult, insults me or they express their anger or hate or whatever, I simply look at it, I read it or whatever, and I don't, I use that as an opportunity to stay still and not react to it. I remain passive. Let them say whatever they want to say. So when you play, have you ever played ping pong? Yeah. Okay. So you can't ping, you can't play ping pong by yourself. You need another person on the other side, right? Yeah, that's true. So, so let's say you and I are playing ping pong and you hit the ball towards me. Okay. And okay. I don't, I don't hit it back. What happens? Uh, well, uh, I guess I win. I get a yeah, point. There, there, there is no game. So if I don't hit it back, there is no game. So you hit the ball towards me and then everything stops. Yeah. So when somebody dumps or projecting their stuff, their fear, their worries, their anger, there's sorrow. This is what it is. Yeah. They're projecting it on me. If I don't respond and I'm just passive to it, it just goes through. There is no, there is no story because I'm not reacting to it. Yeah, but, so, but you, like, go ahead. Uh, go but ahead. like, 
uh, in the past, and I, I know what you're pointing at, and I, I pretty much understand what you're saying. But in the past, like I, I have, I have been dealing with this almost uh, uh, a lot in my life, and I just seem like cursed, you know. Like every time I go to a place, there are always some kind of person. So, okay, of course they have their own own, own opinion, but like, I, like even here, like I, I try to ignore that guy. I don't know if he's a guy, but. He he's just spamming, and I, I like I I try to ignore him, but I feel like it it like it's uh, touching me, you know. And I feel like uh, everywhere I go, <laughs> there's always this fucking person who, uh, who 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 are just judgeful. Right. Yeah, I I understand. And this may even go on longer, but again, what, what my suggestion is to take it as an opportunity to practice staying still. To every time this happens, instead of thinking that it's somebody else is doing that, someone mean, someone hateful is doing this to you, think of it that it's coming from your sat guru is your guru is testing you. Can you practice staying still? Yeah. And no matter what they're telling you, you're just not reacting. So yeah. use the opportunity, use the poison to, and turn it into medicine. Yeah, okay. I will try, thank you. Yeah, that's my, that's my suggestion. And try that for a couple of weeks and see what happens. Let, let me know about it yeah Just okay your mind your emotions want to react to it but hold on to your horse and just stay still remind yourself that okay i promise zaratustra that when this happens i'm going to bring my attention inwards and i'm going to i'm going to use this as a reminder to me to be still and silent and love myself yeah, I will try. Thank you. Yeah, try that and see what happens. Yeah. Okay, so we're coming to the end of our academy. It's almost 11.45. I'm really happy that we've been together today. Uh, thank you for joining me. Uh, just to remind you all that our free online Global Self-Awakening Workshop begins this coming Saturday at 9.30 a.m. California time. That's going to be 12.30 New York and um, 6.30 p.m. European time, 18.30. So we're going to have the workshop uh, Saturday 20th of June, 21st. 24th, 25th, and 27th and 28th of June, each day for two hours. We, for those of you who want to interact with me directly, then I recommend that you sign up through our website, through our system Zoom, so I can see you and I can interact with you. Those of you who are, are viewing this through Facebook or Instagram or YouTube, I can't interact with you. Uh, it's too many devices, uh, too many questions come up, and it's hard for me to, to deal with a lot of different devices. So for me, it's a lot easier, and that's the one that I interact with, which is the Zoom. So... Um, some of you have been writing to me through Facebook or Instagram. I'm sorry, I just can't respond to you. It's impossible. All right, there's another question here. I can feel fear when I came into contact with my greatness. Do you have any tips on what I can do to get over it? Yeah. Uh, thanks, Cecile. Let me, uh, if you want to bring your question to me on Saturday, at the workshop and I answer your question because we're running out of time. Um, next Wednesday, we will not 
having the academy because we're going to have the workshop. Um, so, but we're still together. Feel free to uh, share the information with your loved ones, whomever you think that they can benefit from entering into the workshop. It's a free event. It's my gift to the community. So if you want to share the information with your, uh, on your Facebook pages or Instagram or send our emails to your friends or family, feel free to do, to do so. Uh, the more people they come in contact with this wisdom, uh, the more uh, chances we have for a transformation, a global transformation. If we could have enough number of people around the world to go into silence and find inner peace, inner stillness and silence, then that's going to change the faith of where this planet is going to. It will quiet the mind, and as the mind gets quiet, then the manifestation of the mind will change. So, we'll see what happens. But whatever happens, keep in mind we're in very good hands. We're all in very good hands. This whole thing, everything that is happening right now is a big part of our awakening. And we've been waiting for this for a long time. It's forcing us to go inwards. It's forcing us to look within and to discover the true treasure that's within us, the true gem, the presence the love of God, the power that is here. A recognition of our true self. That we're truly beyond the physical limits. That we're truly omnipresent, that the true part of us, that which is eternal, it's always been here and it will always be here and is not affected by, by what comes and goes. And the more we come to this, across this information, this wisdom and this understanding, the more we become free. And as you become free, your vibrations automatically affects your surrounding. So, there's no need for us to put our attention on the utter world and try to fix things in the world. What we need to fix is ourselves. What we need to, to fix and recognize is the true source of love is here and we are that. Is the recognition of our own divinity, the recognition of the love which is here, which its power surpasses any power in the world. And that is here within yourself. And that requires you to stop, give up all of your ideas, and simply bring your attention to this place. And fall in love with the presence.